Hi friends, today we're gonna to be talking about 15 vintage items that make winter better, more bearable, whatever you wanna say. Uh, items that bring you joy and give you a little bit of happiness in the dreary, never-ending months of winter. Towards the end of the video, I will take some of these items and I will create a little vignette so we can do a decorate with me portion of the video as well. I really love practicing huga, and I'm not sure if you know what that is, but it's Danish and Norwegian for coziness and contentment and comfort. And a lot of it has to do in the dark winter time. And so I've read a couple books about it and I really love huga. And it's a lot about like creating wonderful warm light around you in the winter time lots of candles and super cozy items and so a lot of these items have to do with that but other items are just winter related that are really cute and make me happy so let's get started the first item or items is a few different things so they're clear items that can be used as votives. So these are depression glass, I believe. So it's colorful clear glass that are perfect for putting tea lights in, which I love to do and is a huge priority for me in the winter. So I have little LED tea lights. I don't use like actual real ones. That would just be too much effort. So I put them in here and it's really adorable, especially at night. And I love the colorful glass. That's just a personal preference. But if you go to the thrift store, you can find any clear glass in the world that you can use for putting candles in. I also have this item, which somebody told me what this was before, and I don't remember. I think it might be like put in a sconce. I'm not entirely sure, but I use it just on a shelf and I put a tea light under it and it looks really cute. I also have like items like this. This is a little more of a cloudy piece. And then I have this, I think this is milk glass. I'm not entirely sure, but I love the little flower on it. And then I've got pieces like this. So these are jars. This one I bought this way. It has a Meyercore decal on it and it's a mushroom. It's kind of fallen off, but I really like it anyway. And then these two I made. So I got this jar at a thrift store. And then this is just a spent candle that I took the candle out. It's from Target. And I Mod Podge little roses onto it. And I really love doing that. I'm saving tons of jars because I have a bunch of Meyercore decals that I got at the flea market last year. And I think I'm going to put a bunch of decals all on those jars because they make me really happy. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a video on that craft. I know I'm going to do it for myself, but I'm just not sure if anyone would have any interest in watching that. But I love doing this and it looks really cute with tea lights. The next item is pretty obvious, but vintage mugs that spark joy for you. Having warm liquids like hot chocolate and tea is really important to me. I just became a tea drinker this winter. I only like juice and so like tea is a little bitter for me but i finally found a tea that tastes like hot juice so i'm really into it now and i pick like a new mug every week this one's my favorite right now i got it at a flea market it's got adorable toadstools on it but having mugs on display and actually using mugs that make you happy or teacups whatever you like is really awesome in the winter time oh and little teaspoons. This is a teaspoon actually from my Oma and I loved using this as a little kid and I got them when I got older so it makes me happy using a really cute teaspoon in my tea. Speaking of warm drinks, I love decorating with adorable thermoses. They come in all different colors and all different styles. This one is my favorite for winter. I love the blue stripe. It's so adorable. Reminds me of like a barber pole or something. Oh, it's adorable. You can actually, of course, use these for to hold your warm drinks, but I just like to have them out and make me feel like I'm going to use a warm drink with it. I think it's also important to say that you can pick whatever color scheme you want in winter. I think a lot of people use blue, which is totally cool. And I will be showing blue items. And I did blue last year. But to be honest, as someone who lives in Michigan and sees snow all day long, there's a lot of cool colors coming from the outside and I'm desperate for warm colors this time of year. And so I decorate with a lot of pink and yellow and orange because that's what I need. And I also decorate for Valentine's Day, like last year I did Valentine's Day and I don't think I'm really feeling it this year. 
but I would like to know if you are interested in a Valentine's Day video as well, because I will definitely do that and I can show you how I decorate for Valentine's Day and my favorite vintage Valentine's Day decorations. But I do have a blog post with last year's Valentine's Day decorations. They were really cute, if I do say so myself. So uh, I will link that below for you to look at. The next item is vintage ice cream boxes. So I love the designs on these. I love vintage boxes anyway, like vintage packaging, but ice cream boxes, I think are just really ironic and it's kind of a big middle finger to the weather outside. Just saying, I'm embracing the cold winter. I love ice cream. And ice cream boxes can come in all different colors. And I even have ones that are Bing Crosby ice cream. And I love those ones, but they're blue. So I don't have them out this year. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the green and pink this year. Oh, and all the items that I'm talking about, I will have links below so you can buy some yourself if you're interested. Here you can see a bunch of items that I put tea lights in, but this isn't actually vintage. I got this at Target, so that's why I'm not sharing it. But I do want to tell you, like, this is how much I use candles. And I also love LED candlesticks. They make me really happy. You just light them up. They make ones with a remote, so I will link to led candles that i love and i love lighting all these up at night and then i also use my fireplace which is my favorite it's electric and i've talked about it before but that's the ultimate cozy vibe is having this fireplace on with all the candles on the next few items are very winter themed so the first one is i love buying vintage photographs i found a huge stack of them at a thrift store once and I sifted through all of them picked out my favorites I got some Halloween ones which was really cool and then Christmas ones of course but there were a few that were just specifically snow and winter related and so I love this one of this guy in 1961 shoveling snow and I just think it's really cute he's wearing earmuffs and it makes me really happy it reminds me of shoveling snow with my dad when I was a kid so collecting old photographs is a lot of fun and you can stick them right in a flower frog and put it on display. And vintage Christmas cards, some of them work well for just winter. So here's an example of two of them. Uh, this is a blue mid-century modern looking church, which whether you're Christian or not, I still think that like this mid-century modern church is really awesome. And then this one has beautiful birch trees and a purple house. So these are awesome for just winter. So if you're looking for Christmas cards, also think of vintage winter cards as well. Then I have some winter related books. And I know that these books have cult followings, especially the Trixie Belden. Whenever I share these on my Instagram, people always say, oh, I used to read those when I was a little kid. I still haven't read them. Do you think I should? Because I hear they're amazing. Maybe I'll have to give them a try. That might be fun. But I love how colorful they are, and obviously they're perfect for winter. I mean, even the back of this one is adorable. I just decorated this portion of my house. Almost nothing is decorated, but I did do this little section in my living room. And so the next item is going to be vintage blankets. So I've thrifted all of these, except for that one is from a flea market. That one, the ever-popular knit daisy blanket my mom found for me at Goodwill. I love blankets, obviously, because it keeps you warm, but it also creates a lot of texture in the space in winter, which I think is important. And I don't care that this is really spring. A lot of people are kind of really fussy about whether flowers can be out in the winter. And I think, who cares? It makes me happy and it makes me think of spring, which is great. Even pillows like this have tons of texture. And I mean, how can this pillow not spark joy for you? Another item that is perfect for winter are vintage quilts. So I have even this cute little, this is a quilt runner, and I love having added texture everywhere. So I think I'll put this on my coffee table. It's so cute. Look, there's little fabric with roller skates on it. My mom loves to decorate with, with quilts all year round, but whenever she has quilts in her house in the winter, it makes it feel extra cozy. The next item I can't show you physically because I'm actually getting rid of it in my yard sale pile. Uh, I'll show you a picture though. So it's like Frosty the Snowman children's records. They're really adorable. I have quite a few of them. Also, there's like Frosty the Snowman golden books that I have. And if you watched my Christmas storage video where I packed everything up, 
I didn't decorate with that. It had been left in my Christmas box and I decided to get rid of it because like I explained before, I don't like to decorate with blue in the winter. And so keeping that, even though it is cute, doesn't make any sense for me. So it's going off to the yard sale. But if you love Frosty the Snowman, if you love to decorate with blue in the winter, that's a perfect item for you. And you can come to my yard sale and buy it. Another item that I put in that winter display, which I have a winter blog post that has all the pictures of my winter displays that I've done in the past, including like the Frosty the Snowman stuff, is I used my blue putz houses in that display. So those are Christmas items that I reused and that was perfect. I also have red and pink putz houses that I've used in a putz house display for Valentine's Day. So whatever colors you love to decorate with in the winter, you can just reuse your putz houses in those displays and make like a Valentine's Day village, a St. Patrick's Day village, whatever holiday or color scheme makes you happy. Now this item doesn't really count and I'm not like adding it in the 15 items, but I just wanted to show it to you. So these are retro candles that I made and I made them for Christmas, but I really prefer to use them in the winter time, especially with the colors that I have. So these are blue and purple, but I do have tons of pink ones and greens and I love them because candles are all wahoogas about and you know, you can't light 50,000 candles, but you can have 50,000 paper candles. And I made a video of me making these candles for Halloween, so you can watch that. But the actual person that made these candles the first time and the tutorial that I originally watched was by Smile Mercantile. And so I will link that video if you wanna make your own. These would be a perfect craft to do in the winter months. The next item is seasonal tins. So I have two of these. They're tins that show all four seasons on them. How cool is that? So I found this one, I think at a thrift store, which I can't believe. It's Fanny Farmer Delicious Filled Hard Candies. And I can decorate with this every year, every season. And I love that. This tin is totally worth the money because you can use it all year round. This tin my mom got me. So I'm from Holland, which is all Dutch related. So this is a cute little Dutch family. And we've got, you know, we've got spring, of course, with the tulip fields. And then we've got each season. And then here's the winter one. This one is winter as well. They're both ice skating and they both are not Christmas related, which is awesome. So they're perfect for winter. I couldn't find this one online. I definitely found this one online. So I will link this if you wanna buy it. Another great item that is made of fabric are vintage hankies. So I displayed these on just a little thing of rickrack, but I love the added texture and the colors and you can pick whatever colors you're into for winter. The next item, which I did talk about in my valuable vintage collectibles video. And if you haven't watched that, I will link that. So these are vintage, these are vintage blow molds that are put on string lights. And then these are little, I figured out these are tulips, I think, which is perfect because in my town we have tulip time. So these go on string lights and I did buy replacement string lights. I still have to put them together. So vintage lighting in general, also lamps. I love vintage lamps. Vintage lamps are really easy to get at the thrift store and then you can easily redo the lampshade. I've redone quite a few lampshades in my house just with fabric and I do have a tutorial on how to do that in a blog post so I will link to that. But probably the coolest vintage lighting that I have is this crazy awesome disco ball plastic cup thing that someone made and I got in an estate sale. I have it hanging up right over there and that's where we're actually gonna do the decorate with me portion. So let's go. Here's the really cool light. I got the estate sale. So yeah, it's made of plastic cups and string lights. Someone made it. I absolutely love it. And it definitely has all the hygge vibes. Makes me feel really warm and cozy. And here's the area that we're gonna need to decorate. It's this little purple pantry shelf that I have. And here are some of the items that I picked. So I'm definitely gonna decorate with these books. Um, I think I'm only gonna decorate with them down. So just seeing the binding. Um, I'm definitely gonna use these ice cream boxes. I'm going with like a green, pink, blue, orange, I don't know, type of color scheme, kind of everything. And then I quick ran downstairs and grabbed an empty bin and filled it with random items that I think might work well. 
So I've got a bunch of tins, and then I think puzzles are a really great item to put out in the wintertime. And then what makes you feel warm and cozy more than Pennsylvania Dutch frosted yum-yums? Mm-mm. Okay, I decorated the top area. I added two thermoses and two suitcases. I'm not sure if this dark green floral suitcase will work. It might be a little too dark. I think I'm going with a little bit more of a pastel vibe, but we'll see what ends up happening. Let's start with a base of books. I think books are really cozy for winter. And then books are a great way to instantly tell everyone what your color scheme is. Then I've got my three puzzles. About this pantry shelf is there's a bigger shelf, a medium shelf, and then a smaller shelf. So it definitely makes decorating a bit more challenging. So like these three puzzles were all too tall to go on the top shelf. So I picked another item that is kind of cylindrical and I think that will work up here. I've got this cutie patootie tin and it's a nesting one, so there's another one inside. It's in really great shape. I think I'll put this one up here. So then I'll have a cylinder like item on each shelf. So I have my cylinder items kind of alternating, so they go on the left, then the right, then the left again. And I added some of my little clear votive items. And then I also have three ice cream boxes, so I alternated those as well. And I think I want to put some of those candles that I made in this display. I don't know if these really big tall ones will fit. Oh, look at that, they fit! Here's what we have so far. I'm really loving it. The only thing is I think I need to have something on top of this ice cream box and then on top of this ice cream box. Otherwise, I think I'm really feeling it. Here's what I added. This little, I think it's like a little syrup thing. I'm not entirely sure, but I just bought it because of the green top and a little rose detail on it. And then I put this teeny tiny little Avon thing, cream. I love the groovy top on this. So I wish I had more of these items. These little girls, what are they? They're birthday ones it looks like. I only have two of them. I don't even know if they belong to the same thing. Kind of looks like it. Yeah, so I would love to have more of these, and I am giving a bunch of stuff away at the garage sale, but what I'm also doing is identifying what items I love the most and making sure that I buy more of that item when I go to flea markets. So I'm gonna have to put this on my shopping wish list because I really want more of those. I did end up removing that one suitcase and I just have the one suitcase now and then two thermoses because I am going for accidentally a pastel vibe and I think that it works up there. And it is winter so I do have some blue items in here but they're not like snowy wintry ones and I mostly just have a lot of pink. I love how the candles work in this space and add a wintry cozy charm. And then I can put tea lights in some of these items for at night. Here's the finished display. Unfortunately, I did not use my Pennsylvania Dutch yum yum tin, but I did decide to just put it here for now. I might end up putting it in my pie safe later. I love the pastel vibes. I do feel like that is an underrated color scheme for winter. And I also added a bonus item, the puzzles for winter, which I didn't even think about when I started this video until I went downstairs. 
So really it's 16 items. What items do you think belong in vintage winter decor? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Bye.